Hey guys, my name is Gloria and welcome back to my channel. I went a bit ham on the makeup today. Haven't worn full face makeup since February, so don't judge me. Uh, my boyfriend says I don't look like a clown, I look like a prostitute that caters exclusively to clowns. So who says romance is dead, eh? So today this will be my first video of the week. I took a little bit of a just a little bit of a break, do some reading and stuff. Let's catch up on some sleep. But this is the first video of the week and I like to do small booktuber shoutouts and the channel that I've been watching a lot recently is Uptown Horror Reviews. They have a bit of a different channel, they they don't show their face, instead they, they put together um, little sequences of GIFs and photos and stuff uh, to help them tell the story of the book they're reviewing and it's quite amusing, it's very funny. Uh, they do a lot of uh, extreme horror and splatterpunk, a lot of violence, gore, cannibals and stuff. Um, I really enjoy their reviews. <laughs> One thing is that they, um, the music for the channel is just very chill. It's like GTA menu music or something. So like, they'll be talking about cannibals and I'll just be like, yeah, eating their entrails. Ooh. <laughs> so it's a very enjoyable channel. I'm really liking all of their reviews. There's a lot of the books aren't books that I would normally pick up, uh, but I still like hearing them talk about them. Uh, but they have convinced me to buy a couple that I probably wouldn't have bought otherwise. So go check out Uptown Horror Reviews and subscribe if you like what they're doing. Today for myself, uh, I have a book review. So this was sent to me as an ARC. I think it comes out next month. Um, it is The Ethereal Transit Society by Thomas Vaughan. So this was sent to me uh, to review for my blog and it was quite an interesting read. So The Ethereal Transit Society is or was a cult who believed they had a leader called, uh, was it Quint? I do believe it was Quint. Yes, because it's different quintessential, or quintessence. Um, they had a leader and it was, they believed that they would uh, get rid of their physical vessels and get rid of all the pain in their lives and be taken up to a mothership. Standard cult stuff. Um, but this story begins with one of the cult and he's just in a bathroom off a motorway trying not to catch a horrible disease uh, but before he goes back into the shop he has to fix his mask and he has a mask on half of his face because he tried to shotgun himself in the head and blew half of his face off uh, in the process but still lived. Um, this is relevant because he did this because he didn't want to commit the mass suicide that the cult was planning on doing. So almost everyone else in the cult, including the leader, uh, committed a mass suicide in order to get rid of their physical vessels. But he was having a crisis of faith and he didn't do it with them. So he was left behind. Not only this, uh, there were two women uh, from the cult as well, Z and Astra, that's their awakened names, um, and they were sent by the cult leader before they committed the mass suicide to, to try and convince him to come back or to go after him. Uh, so these three have been left behind. There's some resentments between them because obviously the women wanted to go with their leader and they were prevented from doing so. but. They discovered afterwards, as you do in cults, that no one else in the cult uh, made any arrangements for their death of their bodies except for the leader. So everyone else was cremated, um, some people's bodies were just left for a mass grave because none of their family members came to collect them. Um, but the leader, his body was sent back to the town that he grew up in, which was a middle of nowhere out in the desert somewhere, um, little crappy time, and they are going to collect his body because they believe it will tell them what to do next, that there will be something there um, that will tell them what they should do. Um, partly because there is 
a frequency and a light in the sky that they've all seen at different times um, that has been leading their cult through and they've started to hear the frequency just out in the world and as they get closer and closer to the graveyard and the cemetery he was buried in it gets louder and louder and this is a, a frequency that makes people anxious and scared they're not really sure what's going on but it just freaks people out so they get to this small town and realize that people are kind of going crazy here because of this guy's body that has been buried in the graveyard and they come up against some barriers and they see some strange things but you get the sense that maybe this cult was actually onto something and the end of days is nigh. So it is it is very short. Um, I won't say any more than that but there's definitely more in there to explore. Um, I really like this one so I, I'm always interested in cults. I really like cult dynamics. This came in at a, a really interesting part of the story and and it is following these people who were left behind and didn't get to the spaceship. Um, the the setup is really well done. I think the characters work really well with each other. Um, there is some kind of messed up, gross, weird things that happen in here as well. There is a sort of a supernatural sci-fi kind of angle to it. You're not entirely sure if it's aliens or if it's it's something else something bigger than that it's it's short uh, it is a novella it is only 131 pages this um, and but it's really eventful quite a lot happens in it even though it's only I think it's probably less than a 24-hour period that we're talking about here but it's really well paced you're interested the entire way through there is a sense of mystery because in the beginning at least you're you're just with these three and you're kind of like are they crazy are they delusional are they just imagining this um and when you get to the town you know people there knew this guy when he was growing up when he was just a normal person so they kind of have to deal with knowledge about their leader that they didn't have before they thought they were the closest people to him but he had secrets even from them uh, but I think it's it's really interesting. If you're into cults, uh, you should definitely pick this one up whenever it comes out. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm really glad I got a physical copy too, so that was cool. So I would give this one four stars. I really enjoyed it and it, it takes a, a new kind of look, a new angle at um, the familiar topic of cults, so I really enjoyed it. So that is my review of the Ethereal Transit Society by Thomas Vaughan. You should definitely look that one up. Uh, thank you so much for joining me in this video today. You should definitely look up Uptown Horror Reviews. Uh, I shall be back tomorrow with another review. I am currently trying to catch up on my NaNoWriMo that I'm about 20,000 or so words behind. It's fine. If you like what I'm doing here, you can like and subscribe down below and I shall see you in the next video.